Hello all of my yawns, it's Sinu here, and as you can see, I have Sacred Line, a new indie game that I noticed on IndieDB. I've been keeping track of games coming out, so let's check this out. Start game. One day when I was sitting in my chair and thinking that my private detective business was fading faster than a winter sun, I decided to close it, even knowing that I probably wouldn't find another job in that fucking shithole. That exact day, I got the strangest phone call in my life. A hardly identifiable, noise-jammed voice told me about some forest outpost and its position asking me to drive there immediately. It could be some dumb prank or psychopath, but something strange was about this voice. Even despite the low audibility because of the background noise, it seemed very familiar to me. Greatly intrigued, I packed my stuff and started the car. Several hours later, I finally discovered that place. Near a closed but well-guarded military base which was hidden in the woods. I left my car, checked my flashlight, and moved into the depths of forest. What the hell it- I found a cabin which looked abandoned, but that was just a camouflage. What the hell is that? Oh god, what are you? Part skeleton, part Egyptian god card? Huh. I guess I'm a scantily clad detective. Did it freeze? No, it's loading. It has to be loading. I hope that it's loading. It's loading! Chapter 1. Forever brainwashed. Wow! I was... Oh, oh, come on. Come on, keep it together. I was a little bit worried seeing the... This is weird. Seeing the beginning. And how... Okay. I still have reason to worry. I mean, it looks really nice. I like the way that things look, but the fact that it does this, when I'm looking down, it's like all rainy, foggy, and when I look up, everything's gone. It's alright. No worries. Stop talking about bad things. Okay. First of all, I notice up vertical movement with the mouse is way more sensitive than left and right. Am I able to change that? Controls. Uh, apparently not. That's okay. I have a flashlight. Settings. Uh, mouse sensitivity! Ba -da -ba -bum. Awesome. This is how I like it. Uh, increase. You can't increase it anymore. Alright, sounds good. Continue. This is better. Somewhat. Okay. That's what I call minimalistic setup. You're not worried about the blood? Uh, okay, I guess maybe where you're from there's lots of blood. Can I get this? Can I get this? Nope, I already have one. That works. Alright, I'm gonna quickly... God dang it. I'm gonna quickly change the mouse to fix it again, because... It just seems like it's defaulted slower than... Whatever, it doesn't seem to... Whatever. Okay. Hmm. I'm able to push things around. Someone definitely got killed here, I'd say. A basement. Should I look around? I need to find out what's happened here. Should I look around outside, or should I jump down into the basement? Am I able to save F5, F6? I don't think so. Let's do this! That's disgusting. God, this is creepy. A game by Sasha Darko. Related to Tony Darko. Sacred Line. I'm really liking the style of this. The graphics are somewhat... Eh? Choppy and... Having difficulty handling things, but that kind of adds to the creepy element. Let's not worry about what's behind it. Once more, one more jump like that and I'll break my legs. I wonder why I still didn't. Huh. Interesting. 
Let's see, can I do anything with that? No, I can't. The way that the flashlight works is a little bit awkward, but that's alright. Good way to go. I wonder who wrote that. Hmm. Wait, let's try E? Nope, okay. Those doors are closed and there's another pit. What a shithole. I'm not crazy about the gigantic letters up there. That looks like death. We are not going that way. Haha, <laughs> it's a good way to go. Nope. Let's see about going this way. Can I... <laughs> Disgusting. Alright, we want to go in this direction, obviously. Whoa, calm down there, calm down there. Graphics get really bad, apparently, when you try to jump over barrels. Come on! Alright, we can't go that way, I guess. Wait, can I... Grab and move? No. Let's try behind this thing, then. Oh! What happened? There we are. Nope, it, it rejects me. It sends me back this way. Alright, let's find out just how good of a way to go this is. Another fall like that and I'll surely break my legs. I see nowhere to go down there. I don't want to jump down and die, but we tried the other directions. We're gonna try it. I'm sorry ahead of time. Welcome, Ellen. This is a small part of my own dimension which I created for myself as home. I believe you want to know who I am. Truth to be said, I don't know exactly. I am a product of energy with my own mind and certain tasks to do. That is all that I can say. You were about to die, but I managed to teleport you here at the last moment. You discovered a hideout of the very ancient sect called Holy Intentions, and this night it achieved its main aim. For hundreds of years, with the help of corrupted government connections, they were making sacrifices, hailing all the human evil and hate in the world. They finally awakened some source of power which has many things to offer to the scum on this planet, and follows only one point. To set total totalitaristic fascist regime and destroy any protesters. Ironically, the source killed all members of sect, burned them into nothing. But I believe they still exist as the ghosts. Under their base, you'll find an underground desert. It's a place where this sect was founded. They call it Red Desert because of the shining red bricks, which were parts of First Temple. Now it's just abandoned ruins, but some portal has been opened there. I don't know anything about this portal, but I feel different energy from it. Try to find it. Beware of forces of this source, he will definitely try to stop you. Physically, you can do nothing against it. Avoid any contact. For now, I'm giving you a power of undestructible bones. It will work for some time. Walk through the forest to come back to your dimension. Huh, so that's interesting. I have indestructible bones. I'm like God. Ah! Let's do this. Okay. I'm assuming I should look around. I'm guessing this path down here is the obvious way we should go. So I'm going to go to the path and follow it. These are all rocks. Don't think there's anything I need to do with them. Now I'm wondering there isn't actually a path. I thought there was a path, but there isn't. That's alright. I'll just wander through foresty woods. It's not- Oh! Alright, alright. Oh, door's open now. Thank you. Thank you, uh... What should I call that thing that just spoke to me? Divine Intervention Man? Final test. There's a camera. Obviously, this is one of their facilities. What's that? Whoa. What kind of a test was that? Maybe I can... Oh, oh, don't knock the computer down! No, it's okay. It's it's one of those indestructible ones. It's also got indestructible prey. Obey. Bones. See? It doesn't break. It's one of them indestructible laptops. You close it, and it's like a... Like a diamond briefcase. Can I get into here? I'm quite intrigued. Ooh. What's that sound? Now I'm kind of scared. What's on the ceiling? 
They took the skin off leopards to make this part of the ceiling. Final test. Alright, let's move on. Stop, stop dilly-dallying and get into the action. I have indestructible bones. Why am I freaking out? Pray. Obey. I'm freaking out because my skin isn't indestructible. Meeting room. Psychic test. Pray. Obey. I guess that's their motto. Oh. They're Spanish. Silencio. Alright. Stop. Stop taking your time, Sinion. The ons are... The ons are interested in things. And so are you. It's a giant... Giant globe. Oh. Okay. Maybe it's because I'm talking. Shouldn't be talking. Doesn't matter. Gonna keep talking. Am I able to see his muscles and stuff, or is that just like the glare? I love how I'm able to move that light source. That's pretty cool. It's one of them leopard spikes. They infused spikes with leopards, and made them have sex. It's a terrible thing. That's a really terrible thing. Whatever it is that they summoned or whatever, obviously has the power to control earth or metal or something. Whatever those spikes are made out of. Leopards. Okay, nothing in here. Ah, crap! I have to pause the video for one second. I will be right back, yawns. And I am back. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and check out the psychic test. Obviously, it involves... non-even floors. And... A book, probably a Necronomicon. Uh, oh, careful chair! Gonna okay, make me break my everything. Okay, welcome to Bones. All right, so I guess once you step into the facility, you have to walk through the graveyard, the place where they give all of the things that are dead. I think that's a giant face, cause that's an eye. Those are eyebrows. There's another eye. It has some blood in it. Cries tears of blood. Tears of blood. I think that might be his tongue. Maybe. Interesting looking taste buds. Alright! And then here's his mouth. Nose. Who knows? Oh, I see what you did there, Simeon. You did it without me even knowing. Ha ha ha. What's this? Oh! That's him. Welcome to the most safe country. It's because they're grammatically incorrect that this happened. You should know your grammar. Hooked on phonics. Alright. If only I could find the security cam footage. That show sure would be one interesting movie. Sort of like Cloverfield. Pray. Obey. Pray. Pray. Obey. Pray. Obey. Pray. Pray. Obey. Alright. Oh! oh! Okay. Thought the ground was moving. Just reflective surfaces. Don't know how to save. Really scared about that one little fact. Science lab. Science! Oh, but- Oh! Oh! You're alive, aren't you? I think it just, like, turned, knocked over the barrels, and then got back in its previous position so that I didn't have any suspicion of it. Little does it know I noticed. What does that say? Pray obey? Probably. 